Should a relationship be 50-50? Ladies, I know this is something that is really, really big. You know, everybody's talking about, you know, I need to take care of myself in a relationship and everybody wants to bring in into a relationship. Um, and really, we want to talk about, you know, what it is that the Bible says about, um, you know, that. Um, first, the Bible said that the husband is the one that should be um, caring for his wife. He is the one that should be bringing in, um, you know, money and so on. I'm not saying that wife, you cannot help your husband. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that um, in a relationship, it should be 100-100. It should not be 50-50. We all, we both should be bringing in 100 I should bring a hundred of what God have purpose for me to bring in a relationship, you know, to take care of my home, to nurture my children, um, you know, to, to, to make sure that my home is taken care of, like the, you know, the woman in the book of Proverbs. Um, and the man should, should be the one, um, you know, to lead his home, provide for his home, um, and he should be a 100 in that. So in a relationship, um, a godly, a godly relationship, it should not be 50, 50, but rather in a godly relationship, it should be 100 to 100. And this is how God, uh, want a relationship to be. Um, so then that way the relationship could be full and be whole. When a relationship is 50, 50, it means that it's not whole. Um, everybody, you bringing in 50, I bring in 50 and to make it whole. No, um, I should bring in a hundred, uh, to, uh, the a hundred to what I believe that God have called me to be. And the husband, um, should bring in 100 to what God have called him to do. So should a relationship be 50, 50? No, a relationship should not be 50, 50. When you look at those relationships, uh, that is 50, 50, it is never whole. So I just wanted to leave that out here to you ladies. Again, God bless you. Continue to thrive in Jesus mighty name. God bless you.